Okay, so what you just saw was Apple's iOS 16 and their public beta version of it, which came out on Monday. And this public beta is something that I've been using all week now, and I really gotta say, it's lived up to what I really thought it was gonna be, and when I saw the keynote of it originally announced at WWDC, I was excited, but now that I have my hands on it, now I'm real excited. What's up everyone, my name's Joseph, Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this channel to a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. And with your guys' help, we can get there. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my top five favorite features I found. Some are pretty big and some are very general and just a few things I found while playing with this. So to start number five, I'm gonna go over just little things that have changed within the apps that I find make my life a lot easier on a day-to-day -day basis. The first thing is the home layout. The Apple home layout finally got an overhaul where everything is just cleaner. It's just a lot cleaner, it's a lot easier to use. You can kind of see everything in your rooms right at a glance of when you hit it. And it's just easier to activate things, turn on lights, activate your home pods, turn on your Apple TV. It's just a lot easier as it lives in one place in just a cleaner way. Next up is mail, and you're able to schedule send and unsend stuff by just force touching the send notification. And what's great about this is a lot of other apps do it. I know Outlook does it, but Apple finally does it. And it's great because so many times I have things just sitting in my drafts to send later, but now I can schedule things throughout the day to send really when I want them to send. And then of course the unsend, which on occasion you might have to do. Next is live text copy and pasting. And this was introduced in iOS 15 with photos where you could force touch a photo you took or a document and it would copy it. But now you can do it in a video. So you can pause a video and force touch and you can take that, whatever you force touch, if it's a number and copy and paste it. Or if it's lyrics to a song or something, you can copy and paste it. So you could do it in photo, but now you can do it in video, which is truly an upgrade and truly something that is kind of next level. And then one of my favorite things, this is one of those minor ones, but it's the health app. And with the health app, you can now schedule your medications. So you can go in there and schedule your medications to remind you when to take medications throughout the day and keep a tracker of it live in your health app versus doing it in my, for my case, things three or your reminders or your calendar or your alarms. We also have a new search at the bottom. This is something again, that's minor, but it's very clean that the search to this universal search is at the bottom because it is something I use a lot. So it's in a way better place, at least for me. And then finally, the weather app has some updates. We all know it's on the iPad, but the iPhone had a little update too, where you can kind of see more weather specs throughout a day versus seeing things uh, like on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can go to Monday and see things throughout the hours in just a more in-depth way with a lot more information. So that's number five. That's all of the little things you can do throughout the public beta that I think kind of lived within one category. At number four, we have the keyboard and the keyboard finally gets haptic touch. And haptic touch is where you type and there's little vibrations on your fingers whenever you hit a key. It's something that Android's had for years but Apple finally got it and they waited and they have it right with the best feeling vibrations on your thumb. And I, I can't lie, it was the first thing I turned on when I downloaded iOS 16 onto my phone. Next up, we have live intelligence in photos. If you know how Photoshop works, you know how masking works, or if you're in After Effects, you know how rotoscoping works, how you can take a subject and basically remove the background from it and utilize it that way and kind of manipulate it. Now in iOS 16, you can take a photo that someone sends to you and you can force hold whatever that item is and remove it from the background. You'll see it slowly light up and kind of light up around the edges. You can remove it from the background. When I saw them announce this and I did it for the first time, I was just in utter shock of how seamless and easy it was. Number two, messages. We finally have editing messages. Within 15 minutes, if you send a message wrong or there's a typo, you can edit it and it'll show the person who you sent it to that the message has been edited. But you can also undo a message. They will know you, you undid it and if they don't have iOS 16, it won't show it was undone. So be careful with this one. This one can get you into trouble, but you can undo messages now. And then finally, number one, you all probably expected this, but it's the lock screen. 
We finally have a customizable lock screen in the Apple ecosystem on the iPhone. And the things you can do with it are really endless, and this is where I've had most of my fun. First, you can have multiple backgrounds. So you can force touch and then slide through different backgrounds and have different ones. You can have photo backgrounds, you can have emoji backgrounds, you can take portraits and mask backgrounds over your time, which, I mean, look at this. It's truly intelligence by Apple. It's, it's simple. All you do is you force touch, hit customize, and from there you can change the font, you can change the color, you can change the image, and you have so many options. So the customizability is really endless. And I can't lie, I've been playing a lot with these and it's just fun. And I guess the hardest part is choosing what route you wanna go, but also you can attach them to specific focus modes. So as you go into a focus mode, your lock screen can change to have different widgets or no widgets or whatever you want based on what your focus mode is. We also have widgets and the way they did widgets is just clean. And they did this in preparation for the iPhone 14 Pros, which will have always on display. But these widgets are clean. You look at your lock screen so much. We also have new notifications at the bottom. And if you remember before, we had notifications kind of stacked up in an ugly way, but now they stack up in the bottom and they kind of just hide when they're not there. So you'll see you have one notification, two notifications, three notifications, you click them and they kind of just stack up in order based on if they're messages, if they're from Facebook, if they're from Twitter. And it makes one-handed usage of the iPhone much, much easier. So those are my top five favorite things with the iOS 16 beta. Please leave a comment below what your favorite feature was of this beta and let me know. I'd love to know because I do have my favorites. There's still things I'm learning and I can't wait for this to become a full-time iOS for everyone to use. So with that, thanks for tuning into this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and you guys can help me with that. So until the next video, I'll see you guys.